Janella Fern Shreves. Florine? Sure, never expect to see you here again. What's it been, 15 years? I need to find Billy. I called the family services office looking for him. They gave me the runaround. You know where he is? I ain't seen Billy in a long time. get wet tonight. Heavy dew on the grass. Outside your new home? It's your fire predictor, right? It's not my home. It is now. Your daddy lived a hard life. Paid for it in the end. Don't you even think about opening this door after dark if you ain't expecting company. I did used to live here. Like when you were 10. I know how to take care of myself. You got a gun in that bag? I don't believe in guns. Well, how'd they feel about that in the Marines? Army. No guns. I have no plans to ever use one again. Then at least get yourself a dog. This woman on the bus told me that copperheads are thick this year. The woods ain't your problem. She's a living, breathing thing. You show her some respect, she'll take care of you. Now, these people around here, they don't play by the same rules. Who? You know where Billy is, don't you? I can help him. Last I heard, he was flopping down the woods in one of them tin boxes. I'll come back tomorrow. Take you to town, get you some food. Where are you hiding the hooch these days? Jim William Shreve is a devoted father and husband. I'm sure that he greets his maker with open arms and that he is welcome into heaven where his wife awaits him. Let us pray. Father, we just pray in Jesus' name, grace and peace unto this family, understanding.
the hell you want? Looking for Billy Shreves? Try county lockup. Now get the fuck out of here. Look like a bartender. What's your main gig? Hmm? Let me guess. Construction? Demolition? All right, so you took one look at me. You said, now there's a man that destroys shit for a living. You look like you work outside. I help people. Um, you know, people need a hand out, people need a leg up, people need a slap in the face. It usually takes me about one minute to figure out who needs what. What do you suppose I need? I need coffee as bad as I need coffee. You in the military? Couple tours. Got processed out. So what next? You know, I'm trying to get to county lockup. You need to check yourself in for stealing my heart. It's too far to walk. I can drive you in my truck if you want to. Let's go. Well, I'll wait for you. I'm good. Hey, we'll do this again. See you, Mike. Yeah, that's what you get. Going after one of them instead of a husky church girl. I'm looking for my brother, uh, William Shreves, Billy. He's 22. William Shreves? Yes, sir. Drugs, assault, stealing. Not here now. He'll be back before long. You have an address for him? 1054 Dominion.
What do you want? Who in the hell are you? You son of Shreve's kin? I'm his daughter. What do you want? I'm gonna burn this sucker and do the county a favor. Why in the hell would you do that? Fire's the only way to get rid of a demon. Big Jim had a mean streak foot wide. I don't need to have him back around here. Well, I'm staying here for a little while, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't burn it down. choose one though. What do you need it for? Protection. From the living or the dead? The living. <laughs> Quiet! Which one of you can protect this woman? Speak now. There's your great protector. What's his name? I call it Cujo. But it'll answer to shit eating fuckers as long as you feed it regular. Come inside for just for a minute. Ain't exactly a little house on the prairie, is it? Found your brother yet? Nope. Maybe you don't want to be found. Village doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> You'd be surprised how word gets around. Well, I know he'd come to see me if he did. You looking for closure? Are you my therapist? Suppose not. You know that old hillbilly up the road? Big Carl? He's a Carl? I thought they were all dead. He's one of the last. That man's just on loan from the penitentiary. Likes to burn down empty houses, strips of copper out first. Is he dangerous? Oh, hey. Oh, good Lord. Is this the dog you got for protection? I like him. These are the Ozarks woods, child. You need to get yourself a man. Look, I haven't asked for your advice, all right? Not once. Can you just leave, please? It's bad luck to ask a person to leave before they're finished eating. Doing you a favor by staying. Dog! 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 Get back here! Shit. There. What are you doing out here? Do you have a name? Cecil. Hi, Cecil. Do you want to come over here to me? 
want me to come to you? See, so where's your family? You out here all by yourself? You hungry? You wanna come with me and get some food? This your place? It was my dad's, but he's gone. Gone where? He passed away. Howler, get him. Howler's not real. Yes, he is. Unless the howler poured booze down my daddy's throat. He did it to himself. So it's your place now? I'm not staying very long. See, so where's your family? What happened? See, so how long you been in those woods? Do you know where your home is? Don't got no home. Tomorrow? So what am I supposed to do with this kid? a couple things. I think they might fit. Thank you. Good night. Got us breakfast. What am I supposed to do with those? I'll show you. Have you ever gone to school? I would like to. You know how to read? 
No, ma'am. Well, there's gonna be somebody that's gonna come by the house today. To take me away? They're gonna wanna ask you a bunch of stuff about your parents and where you come from and your parents' names. You know any of that? Bad idea to tell people too much about yourself. Causes trouble. I know which berries are poisonous. I know how to cut down wood. I can help you here. Oh, I'm not staying. Mike Rivers, social services. So this is your other job? Your social worker? I told you. I help people. Who's this? That is Cecil. Howdy. Hey, Cecil. How is it you came to live out here in these woods all by yourself? Let me get a picture of you right quick. Prefer not to, sir. Why don't you just smile? Give me a good looking smile. Now, that's just the picture. Don't talk inside for a minute. Hold on to that for me, will you? I didn't think you'd ever call again. <sighs> Look, we had a fun time. Let's just leave it at that, okay? So I guess I should say goodbye to him. Any idea what happens to that little boy if I take him with me now? Temporary foster care? Ten other kids, screaming, crying, crowded. And three days later, a whole new set of parents, new set of rules and punishments. You sound like you got some experience with that. Yeah, ain't had a living out on my 18th birthday. That's where you want Cecil to go. Look, I'm not here to take care of a messed up kid. I'm here to find my brother. A kid like that's calling me sir, calling you ma'am. Let's just pack him a pink lunchbox and see if he makes it. I'll be okay. My kid's a survivor. Is that what you were? You were a survivor? I am now. You could give that boy a good life for a couple of days and ain't gonna kill you. No, absolutely not. No. Why? Because I'm unfit. I disagree. Well, I am. I can't even take care of a dog. Took off after one day. But you brought that little boy out of the woods into your home. The fact that that alone qualifies you to lead a Sunday sermon in this town. Why don't you just let me straighten out who it's kin or that boy must have come from someplace. Be good, little man. I'll be back soon. You having a cigarette? Yes, you have a cigarette. You like to smoke? <sighs> yep. Don't it burn when the smoke goes down inside of you? Cecil, can I just get a minute, please?
You not hungry? <sighs> not really feeling good. Maybe you got a ghost. You ought to burn your daddy's dress shirts. If that don't work, I'll catch you a rattler and give you a bit to eat. I don't believe in ghosts. Hey, Paul, it's Mike. I need to file a report on a missing person, a young male, Caucasian, he's probably nine or ten years old. He's been out in the woods by himself for a while. He belongs to somebody. He's got good manners, somebody, somebody straightened him out more than once. What do you say, Miss Fran? Oh, hey, Ma. How are you? Y'all seen a boy about nine to ten years old come through here, blonde haired kid? No, no. I got a picture of him. Sure. Oh, thank you, man. Yes, sir. I thought I had a picture of him. Where'd you go, little man? Cecil? Cecil? What are you doing? Do you believe in monsters coming out of the forest? Go back to bed, please. Thanks for giving me a ride. Well, now, who's this fine young gentleman? This is Cecil. Cecil what? Who's your people? He doesn't like to answer questions about himself. Come on, get in. I tell you to get a dog, you get an overgrown rodent. I tell you to get a man, you get a 60 pounder. This is it? If you want some guy in a white coat and a fancy diploma, that's 30 miles up the road. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> You're a Shreves. How could you tell? It's in the eyes. Shame about you folks. Drugs sure have a way of hollowing people out. So, what you got brewing? Uh, I got really bad headaches, and I can't sleep, and I'm just really congested. And... Well, when did all this start up? Uh, night before last. Eating anything unusual? No. Probably got a virus. You got time to rest? No. I recently took in a kid, a little boy. I don't even know how long I'm gonna have him for. You took in a boy? From where? Found him in the woods. And you started to get sick after you brought him home? That night. Who's your lord and creator? Where'd you come from, boy? Oh. 
What was that about? Old stories around these parts. Some lies, many true. You've got to take that boy back to the forest, Miss Shreves. Take him back and leave him where you found him. What are you saying? There are some sicknesses that medicine just cannot cure. Diagnosis. He said it's a virus. Have you ever heard the word tattered mammalian? What? What is it? An old one. Tattered Amelian. Story goes that the little boy was banished to the trees. Can't come out unless somebody carries him across. He'll make you love him. Whole time stealing your health, life, years ahead. You say that's how he stays young forever. And you believe that? This place is built on stories. Some of them true. Oh, some horse shit. Folk tales come from necessity. Kids like me was getting lost in the woods, so they made up the, the howler. You know, they tell kids stories to scare them into staying out of trouble. Works, too. Yeah, but why would anybody need a story about a tattered million? Now, Cecil. I know you ain't gonna sit at my table without washing that dog off your hands. No, ma'am. Can somebody please help me with this? Oh, go help him.
please? Hey, you wanna play a game with me? What is it? <laughs> it's a game where you have to think of somebody and I have to ask you questions until I can figure out who it is. Yes or no questions. Okay. Okay. All right. So you need to think of somebody really special to you. Got one. Okay. Is it a boy? It's a girl. Is it a little girl? Is it your mom? What's her name? You said it had to be yes or no questions. What's her name, Cecil? Where is she? Hey! Come back here. You can't lie to me, okay? Hey, that's not how it works. All right, tell me where your mom is. Where is she? Where's your mom? Tell me! Where is she? Mama died when the baby came out. They both died. What was she like? She used to sing old songs to me. Why were you living in the woods, Cecil? Can't tell you. Why not? Because you don't believe in monsters. No, I don't. I do. Known them to be a fact. Where are you going? I'm going out. How long are you going to be gone? Not even an hour. Why can't I go? Because it's not kids stuff, all right? I don't want you to go. Well, I'm going. So you just need to stay inside and don't let anybody in the house, OK? Stay inside and lock the door. Hey, beautiful. Hello. How about you come outside with me? No, thanks. Good here. All right. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Fuck up. Hey, he's family shit, all right? Piece of shit out there. Where you think you're going, huh? Where you think you're going? Huh? What you gonna do? Nothing's changed, has it, Janella? Billy? What are you doing? You come around here asking about me like there's some kind of family reunion plan? Why are you so angry? After what you did? What did I do? You ripped our family apart. No, I did not. I was a kid. No, you were a fucking rat. <laughs> Uh, uh, you quit asking after me. I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want you in my life. You go back wherever the fuck you come from. Step off. Step off. 
This is not your quarrel. Time and asshole hits a woman, that's my quarrel. Like, step off. A woman? No, 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 this is a soldier. Can't you tell? I don't want nothing to do with you. And fuck you. I'll be seeing you around. It's a small town. Like that's always angry at the wrong person. Stop. Stop. Want me to stick around? No. Could have handled it myself. Why do you drink booze? Because it helps me feel better. Do you feel better today? You shouldn't do it no more. We should get you a toy. What for? For playing. Like having fun. What did you play with when you were a kid? I loved bubbles. I like to see how far they could get before they pop. The best ones were when they just kept going and going until you couldn't see them anymore. Like maybe they were still going somewhere. Bubbles sound good. All right. You deserve better.
found some clothes that might fit in a little better. You feeling okay? You found his family yet? I went out in the woods the other day. I found this fort. And I'm pretty sure that he's been staying in that thing. Did you find anything in it? I just found this magazine. It looks like real ancient, but I made out this address on the front, Old Hickok Road. Have you ever heard of that? I looked on some maps, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Well, I mean, there's a thousand dirt paths in this county. They all got different names, and then every generation, the name changes. Hey, Cecil, my boy. Yes, sir. Miss Shreve's being good to you? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Looks like she's feeding you. Yes, sir. You can stay and eat with us. Mm. That sounds like an invitation to dinner. That'd be bad luck to pass that up. Hey, Cecil. You didn't happen to delete that picture I took of you uh, off my phone the other day, did you? Dangerous to have your image gathered away from your body. So how can nobody know who this kid is? Last summer, I found a family living in a refrigerator box in the deep, deep woods. There were three kids, two, three, and six, None of them had ever seen electricity before. So a kid like that, no birth certificate, no school, no medical records. You just got to dig deeper. You got to look deeper. Uh, he didn't come out of nowhere. Like you heard that stuff you were saying about gathering his image away from his body. Yeah. Man, that's old time stuff. Like I, I haven't heard anything like that since I was a little kid. And even then I didn't hear it except when I was way off in the hill somewhere. Old timers preaching the old ways. What if he's dangerous? I think you could take him. Oh, I'm serious. Like this, he talks about stuff, like weird stuff. Like what? Like he talks about like monsters, like coming out of the woods. Yeah, welcome to the Ozarks, Miss Shreves. No, I'm telling you, this kid needs help, like real medical help, like therapists and assessments and all that. Yeah, what you needed, or you just need somebody to love you. You don't know a damn thing about me. I'll give you two more days, and then you take him. you want me? There's more to it, Cecil. You want to be all alone? Sometimes it seems easier. Why? Because then I don't have to worry about anybody else's feelings but my own. I don't have to worry about anybody hurting me, and I don't have to worry about hurting anybody else. I don't want to go back. Where's your home, Cecil? I step in there, you'll never see me again. That what you want? I just want your family to know that you're okay. I don't have any family anymore. I told you that. Hey, what are you doing? Be careful. You want me to go? Tell me to go. I just want you to tell me who you are. I've already told you. Then tell me something else. Tell me how old you are. What does it matter how old I am? Okay, come down. Let's go back inside. You want me to stay or go? Come down. Say it. Please stay.
Hey, I didn't get a chance for a proper introduction the other day. Big Carl. You been warned about me, have you? What is it with you and fire? Keeps things pure. This demon lives in this old snag. I try to burn it out once a week. Keeps him at bay. Ed's been known to gather around pawpaw trees. Reason's unknown. What do you know about the tattered vein? If you got that damn thing in your house, you need to bring him back down in here in the woods where he belongs and be done with him tonight. What do you know about it? He's gonna ask you to take his hand. He's gonna walk right into your life. He can't come out of the woods alone. Can't cross over. Tired Jamaicans has got to abide by that. You're gonna be sweet as pie, and you're gonna start seeing changes. What kind of changes? Your pretty hair's gonna turn white. It's just gonna get sick. You just gonna keep getting sicker. Then you just ain't gonna wake up. Then he's gonna come back down here in the woods, and he'll be stronger with your life than he was before. You got no saying around here. Ain't your kin, don't let them in. Have you actually seen a tattered million? I ain't never seen Australia either, but that don't mean it ain't there. You need a little proof? Yeah. You take these three nails, Bang them into your front door in the shape of a triangle. What's that proof? Tired of man's a demon. A demon's a witch. There ain't no witch can enter when they see this in the shape of a triangle. No ghost, no demon. Nothing on this earth. You best be getting on back home now. It's gonna rain. Flint rock up in the high country, sweating on my way here. How many times have I about busted my ass? Dickens of rain coming. Back to hell with you. Hey, you go back inside right now. Somebody should have burned this place down a long time ago. What happened to you? Their names are going on the list. They'll know soon. The old man had a gun. Pistol, six shots, I want it. You don't want a gun. Don't tell me what I want. You know, my, my last day on active duty, I spent holding the hand of this young kid, it's about your age, from Arkansas. Took a bullet right to the belly. 
And I held his hand. He told me about this girl that he was going to marry when he got home. And then he bled out on Evac. Why should I care about that? Because ever since then, the only thing that I can think about is getting back here and seeing you. You think you're just going to come back here and fix everything? You're the one who broke it all to start with. You want to talk about bad memories? We can be here all fucking day. Nine years. Nine years I've bounced from one fucking dump to another. I know. No, no, get, the, get off of me. Billy, you're my brother. Don't you Please. touch me. It's Billy, stop. Get off of me. Don't touch her. And what, big man? What are you going to do? Hmm? I'll hurt you. See yours? I found it in the woods. He didn't have a family. Why well, you care about this waste of skin and bones, boy? I need her. Could have been a lot worse. I'm surprised it wasn't. He saw Cecil and then ran off. Now you listen to me. You need to stop worrying about your brother. He won't break through. The boy you knew is gone. <laughs> why did you? Why did you keep us? You were Mama's best friend. You could have kept us together. Do you think he was the only one with problems? My, my red, he had a real taste for drinking and beating on me. He would have been real nasty to kids. Besides, I, I didn't want to sacrifice my own life for somebody else's kids. Is that? What is this? Hey, what is this? Why'd you put this on me? What the hell is this? It's a mad stone. Is it supposed to hurt me, Cecil? Give it back. It's special. Give it back. It's special. No. See how far that one went? Cecil, I need you to do something for me. Yes, ma'am. I want you to go inside and get me a glass of water. <clears throat> you thirsty? Real bad.
So that's what you think's going on? Yeah. I got an uncle that, uh, he wears his clothes inside out any time he goes to a funeral. You know, if he drops a dish rag on the floor, he won't open the door for a week. And he swears that he's laid hundreds of ghosts to their graves with a stone because they were spelling him from the great black beyond. Uh, okay, so what's your point? He thinks that the tattered demillion's a bunch of backwoods hooey. Really? He was using this, pushing it onto my face while I was asleep. I think it's part of how he does his thing. I don't see many of them. So you know what that is? Uh, you find them sometimes in a uh, deer's stomach lining, but they're rare. Mountain people say that they have healing powers. It's okay. You got scared. You tried to find another way out of it. <laughs> oh, you should never have left him here with me. I thought I saw a connection between you and that boy. Oh, I guess you were wrong. No, I wasn't wrong. Man, you come in here out of nowhere. You're all alone. And that boy walks out of the woods with very similar circumstances to you. As if you two were always just spinning towards each other. Bonded. Just take him away. If you still care, I heard your brother staying down at the end of County Road. Looking for my brother. Who's your brother? His name's Billy Shreves. You know him? He ain't here. Where is he? Billy don't check in with me. Well, I just want to say goodbye to him. Why? Because he's my brother. I told you. He ain't your brother. He ain't anybody's anything. He's Billy. You live here with him? This shithole. Look like anybody lives in it. Just lay my head here when I need to. Me and the others. How old are you? Hey. Stays out by the river when it's hot like this. He'll be by himself. Thank you.
You shouldn't be here right now. Just came to say goodbye. Better cut that out. I'm si I sleep here. Do you remember anything about what happened that night? I'm driving. Remember, we were in the middle of some dirt road, middle of nowhere, and I'd been to their dealers, and the car broke down. Daddy said that, you know, I'm gonna go get help. Y'all stay in here, don't you move, don't you leave this car, you hear me? We waited there, and waited there, and waited there, and he never came back, and then Mom passed out. And I decided to go get help. You were always so eager to please him, but you did whatever he said. But I tried. I tried to get you to come with me, and you wouldn't. You didn't budge. I don't remember it that way. I remember you left me. I didn't mean to leave you. I'm sorry. You know, she woke up after you left. And she started smoking and smoking. Then she started shaking and throwing up, begging me to help her. So I held her real tight. Mm -hmm. And she just kept shaking. And I was so small, she just shook both of us. And then she didn't shake no more. thought for a lot of years I was gonna run away I was gonna find you we were gonna find our happiness together whatever that is you know what I want you to uh, have this key take the house because I don't want it what about that boy I know what he was. And what was he? Don't act like you don't know. I saw the way you ran off right when you saw him. No, I didn't run from him. I ran from what he stirred up inside of me. That kid's just had a companion. No, that's a bullshit story made up so folks can justify not taking care of kids like me. I'm sick. You know, people should know better than that. I've been sick since the day he got here. And he, my hair's turned white. White. I used to visit our daddy now and then. You know, he hated this time of year. And these pawpaws are blooming. Terrible allergic. He said it felt like they were stealing his breath. Four walls and a roof ain't gonna fix what's wrong with me. Someone should take that place and make a home of it. Start new. Billy, you don't have to stay here. Well, you need to move on. Go save somebody worth saving. Get out of here! I'm not gonna ask you again. You better go now! Go! say about you? You go stay in that room.
Hello. Excuse me, sir. Afternoon. Good afternoon. The, the lady inside told me that you've lived around these parts for a real long time and that you remember different things. Less and less every day. Have you ever heard of Old Hickok Road? Old Hickok Road. I haven't heard it called that in a long time. Do you know where it is? I reckon so, but it won't be easy to get there. You gotta cross the river.
103 dispatch. I have a 50 to 55 year old male that is overdosed on his own batch. If you would, please send EMS to our location, Old Hickok Road. Over. It's Cecil Philmont. Philmont, so you found out who his family is? I made a horrible mistake. Can we go get him, please? Please. I'm trying to get Cecil. On his authority. Right there. I spoke to the juvenile judge about an hour ago in the strong recommendation. Hey. Y'all know where Cecil is? Cecil, I'm so sorry. I know you're trying to help me with this. Cecil? Cecil Philmont. How'd you know that? He was right to punish me. No, he wasn't. I talked about our family business. He gave me one week outside. He was wrong to do that. He told me if I ran off, if I talked about what he did to me, the howler would come. He'll come for me. I'm not going to let him. He'll come for I'm me. I'm not going to let him. When Daddy chained me up, I heard him howling in the trees. Nobody can stop him. I'm going to protect you from now on. Okay? Traveling through this world below, there is no sickness, toils, or danger. Do that good work to which I go. I'm going there to meet my father. I'm going there no more to roam. I am just going. Over Jordan, I am just going over home. You know who the killed deer is? Mm -mm. It's a tiny bird that it makes its nest in precarious places. Yet every year I get a few eggs out on the driveway. I try to steer clear of them. But if you get too close to mama killed deer, she starts squawking. And then she'll lead you away from the babies all the while she's faking an injury to a wing. Like some of you'll choose her over her babies. It's that ultimate sacrifice for a baby she ain't even seen yet. And I think that everybody's got that instinct in them. Just gotta wake it up.
don't think these people like me. Yes, they do. You belong here. I want to leave. No, you don't have to leave. You are. You go back there and you'll kill her. What I warned you about that thing. You ought to be thanking me. What did you do to him, you son of a bitch? I'll tell you right now, you let that demon in your head. Where is he? Tell me! Man, I'm helping you, but not seeing! Tell me where he is right now. I'm gonna blow your head I'm off! Drag him back down in the woods where he belongs. Where? Damn you. Where? East. That way. Cecil! Cecil? Okay, so you have to come back with me now. I'll never stop looking for you. Are you okay? You're safe now. Are you hurt? I can't go back with you, Fern. Cecil, please. My daddy told me I killed my mama. They told me when I am at the foster home. They all believed it. it must be true. It's not true. Are you still sick? No, I'm not sick anymore. Okay? Those were all just terrible stories. You thought I was a demon. Other people think I am. My mama and daddy both died. Cecil. 
think there's something really wrong with me. <laughs> I'll go away. Far away from here. Keep you safe. This is hell. He only wants me. What? What's wrong? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Wayfair and stranger while traveling through this world below. There is no sickness, toils, or danger in that good world to which I go. I'm going there to meet my father. I'm going there, no more to roam. I am just going over Jordan. I am just going over home. I know dark clouds will gather o'er me. I know my path ways rough and steep, but golden fields lie out before me, where weary eyes no more shall weep. I'm going there to see my mother. She said she'd meet. Me when I come, I am just going over Jordan. I am just going over to see the salvation story in concert with 
the blood washed band I want to wear a crown of glory when I get home to that good land I'm going shed for me his precious blood I am just going over Jordan I am just going